Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows on your Mac through an interface called Parallel. Um, this is very convenient. Obviously if you if you're, have your Mac and you need uh, to do some of your work and if your work computer only has Windows then this will be very helpful. All right, let's get started. All right, so first we're going to want to open up a Google Chrome. And then from here, we're going to write Parallels, and then we're going to hit the first one, and from here we're going to hit the download free trial. Oh, go back here. We're going to be downloading the Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac, and then from here we're going to hit a little bit bigger. We're going to hit download now. Pick wherever you want it done, where, where you want it done. And then here it just tells you step by step on how to do it. We're just going to let this download real quick. I'm going to be doing everything in real time, so no need to stress, just take your time. All right, so that is done, I want to just minimize this real quick, and here's our file, and we're going to open it. From here, we're going to um, install it real quick. We're going to open it. We want to accept. From here, type in your password that you have. Also, while we're waiting for this, don't forget to subscribe and like my video and check out any of my other videos. So I'm going to have to make some changes here. I'm going to let allow that. Should have started automatically. I don't know why. Let's see. Oh. There we go. Just give it a few minutes. So that it's delayed. We're going to install Windows. So right now it's creating it. It's gonna download it for us. Make sure that you have at least, at least, I would say 10 gigabytes available on your hard drive, just in case. 
they always say whatever it says 5.27 gigabytes but sometimes a little bit longer which can be annoying but it is what it is uh for this part though i think i'm just gonna pause the video right here no no point you guys just staring at the same screen for 24 minutes all right so we're back there's a one minute remaining we'll just wait it out together let's see what happens i'm just gonna x this I should also mention that um, there's the 14 day trial that I um, activated and then after that you're going to have to pay for using the service. Let's see if I can find how much it will be and there we go. So a new license would be $100. I'm in Canada, so it would be $100 Canadian. Upgrade would be from $60.49. And then for the year, if you want the Pro, $130. Or if you want the Business Edition, it will be $130 for the year as well. So, oh, and there we go. And there's your Windows machine. Let's see what happens. And here, this is where the Windows will start installing. This is usually pretty quick, but it can take some time. Sometimes, it just depends. We'll let this run as well, and then I'll come back when it's close to done. We just finished. And now we're just waiting for the Windows to install. Okay, when those ready. This is exactly the same kind of installation you would do on a um, on a Windows computer, uh, or if you're looking to download on uh, a Microsoft Windows uh, operating system. Sorry, I can't talk today. I'm a little tired. Let's gonna let this go.
See what happened there? Just don't touch anything. Let it do its thing. If you see a black screen like that, don't panic. Just let it do its thing. Right here, you'll always see something loading. If something is loading in the background, just let it do its thing. Patience is uh, greatly appreciated when these things are all loading and whatnot. Especially when they need to reset and then they boot up again and then reset and so on and so forth. And that's what was just happening right now. And then here, we're gonna just configure a couple things. Or, for you non technical people, um, we're just gonna set up a few things. Should ask us a couple questions. See what happens. And there we go. Installation is complete. This is very cool. Click to continue. And there we go. So we're just gonna, gonna X those, X this. And now we have everything full screen. And this is everything that is on currently on my uh, Mac computer. As you can see, Mac files shows everything that I have. Very convenient. You can switch between the two and everything is located on your Mac itself. So it's great. Uh, let's see if I, see if I used to copy. I can do full screen as well. It's great. 
and then right here it says copy PDF. Let's do that again. Let's just uh, copy and then paste this one. See my photos right there. And a copy of my photo exactly like the same one that I did. Perfect. It's very convenient. It's great. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. This is How To Tech Tips. Don't forget to keep teching on.